Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to create trust between two domains. Okay, and that too, both domains are in multi subnet. One domain we are having in one subnet, uh, in uh, another domain is also having in one subnet. Here I am having dc.com, like abc.com. Here we have arsha.com. The dc.com has default configured by the uh, like 10 dot series. So mainly it got configured with 10.50 series and coming to DC we are having 192 series for that reason to, uh, in order to communicate both of both these domains I have added one extra adapter okay so one adapter I have configured uh, I have to, uh, I just mentioned this DC uh, abc.com with another IP to get sync okay so this DC is having one dot 50 and also 1.9 as well okay now this do domain is having mainly 192 series and also I have added one extra domain one extra network adapter to contact with ad uh, abc.com domain so I have given 10 series for that okay so before doing configuring trust we need to make sure that either we have communication or not so now for to communicate itself type ping so I need to ping 192.168 0 dot sorry uh, like 0 dot 110 that is the IP yeah I'm able to come come uh, communicate to the uh, arsha.com okay and like I may be able to communicate with 10 series or not I have also given 10 dot 10 dot uh, 25 I think so what it is I don't know uh, let's check that IP config 12 12 I have given right so 10.12 so from ABC domain I am able to contact DC domain okay now let's see that the same thing is happening or not now I am pinging to 192.168.0.11 what is that I don't know 109 109 I am able to communicate now let's ping the 10 series 10.10.0.0.50 I am able to communicate so communication wise I don't have uh, like uh, any issues and to be uh, going smooth error see I have disabled the firewalls in in both domains okay now what I need to do go to D, uh, DC here now go to tools DNS here go to conditional forwarder uh, I'm just deleting that yeah first it will be like this okay go to conditional forwarder go to conditional forwarder right click on that new conditional forwarder here you need type your domain which you need to connect I need to connect to arsha.com what is that IP that I want to here give that here is 192.168.0.0.1110 yeah it's done click ok I have given arsha.com ok same thing you have to do in the uh, arsha.com as well go to DNS ok it will be like this uh, new conditional forwarder, forwarder now type you need to type abc.com ok now give the IP 10.10.10.50 click ok now I have given conditional forwarder as well now go to DC and check type ping what is the host name of this go to here type host name so this is the domain just copy that come here type ping dot 
harsha.com see i am able to ping you need to do the same thing whether it is resolving or not uh, in other domain as well now it is now it's a, we have created conditional forwarders in both uh, dns okay in both uh, dns now we need to go to the uh, active directory trust okay now open active directory trust in server uh, conf server configuration manager it will be like this select on that go to properties go to trust here now click on new trust okay Ty what is the name that uh, you want to connect harsha.com yet harsha okay done now go to i need to uh, configure trust in both ways so select this one and then select here two way now i don't have on a password if you have don't have password this one if you select this one you need to do the same thing in other domain as well if you select this option so both trust will be configured there as well okay now select next now type the domain of that pc uh, like um, administrator sorry harsha backward slash administrator now forest world authentication yes yes next next confirm this outgoing trust yeah it trust has been configured okay now go to the same uh, thing here now go to uh, active directory users and sites domain and trust right click on that so when you have we have password it will be automatically get sync here as well now uh, you need to just go to properties here validate so here you just click ok so you will get like this click ok ok now click on this validate now if we if you get any error you can have to select this option click ok ok yes ok now do the same thing in dc you click on this properties validate click ok yes yes ok now select this validate ok ok yes ok now a trust has been configured with between the both uh, abc.com and harsha.com now what i need to do here is uh, to test this whether it is working or not so what i will do here is uh, like um, i am selecting abc.com here i am going to create a user here test test user 02 test user 02 so i am creating a username here test with the name uh, for abc.com 123 is a password 123 is a password yeah now i have created this user in abc.com now this domain this is uh, this windows server 2000 uh, has been joined in arsha.com let's see whether we are able to join into this or not click on other user here so by default you cannot log in in the domain that's the reason i am showing this practical in the member server now test user 02 at the top uh, at the top abc.com now one two three now i have successfully logged in to abarsha.com using abc domain user okay now now type who am i see abc.testuser.com if you want to show that net accounts so this is server okay now use uh, like host name this is also now go to home computer properties now domain click on that 
so it is asking the username password right so harsha slash administrator now go to see here you can see the harsha.com okay so this is how you need to create trust between two domains if you have any issues please do comment it and let me know okay uh, i hope you may like this video thank you bye